Oh, you guys keep pushing me in the comments for zombies. Ah, for zombies, let's say, for horror games. Ah, who was it that suggested Five Nights at Freddy's lately? <laughs> oh, I think that guy wants to kill me. I think that guy wants to, uh, <laughs> to make my heart stop beating or something. It's, it is kind of interesting how these uh, sort of cartoony or silly games like Five Nights at Freddy's can be so scary. But they are, man, Jesus. Let me, I mean, if a game is, is a horror game, it is a horror game. It doesn't really matter. How many years is it going to take before all this is finally gone? It doesn't matter if it's... Yeah, you all would have been better off out in the shit. Nero couldn't protect you from a goddamn thing. Doesn't matter if it's cartoony or anything. Man, Deacon uh, talks a lot with himself. <laughs> Amnesia says Blaze. Yes, of course not, Blaze. <laughs> Do I have ammo or am I going kind of naked? Let's uh, put the suppressor here. Might come in handy. And uh, Bocho says the counter is just the two plus years that days uh, have passed since you started the game. Yeah, I figured as much. That was my initial impressions. But I don't you know, you see, he's a, it's such a big counter, you know, in, right now in the uh, pause screen that I figured maybe there's a bit uh, more to it, you know. All right, in any case, let's get going now. Okay, let's uh, have the rocks ready. Just in case. There's somebody very close. I gotta use Can he see me? Through there, interesting. I don't think I have to fight him. Oh, Jesus. They're all around me, though. Hold on. I could just straight up avoid them, couldn't I? Oh, no. I don't think so. Okay. Look over there, please. Bye-bye. <laughs> there was another guy there somewhere, though. Hold on. Yeah, there he is. Go look over there, sir. And thank you for your service. There is something so satisfying about killing zombies. I don't know what. <laughs> Stealth killing zombies, by the way. Man, they're everywhere. Jesus. Well, this is a story mission, so I guess. It is kind of expected that it is full of zombies. I've also leveled up a bit, so I could probably fight a few zombies straight up. Shouldn't be too much trouble. Alright, no one's here. Where is that guy? He is right on top of me, but I can't see. Oh, Jesus, are you kidding me? <laughs> right in my face. Go over there, please. Where are you going? There you go. <laughs> and they're all around me outside the camp as well but I don't think they can get in so should be good operative word should now where is the entrance over there it's kind of weird because I'm trying to go over there but the game directs me towards here so I guess we're gonna go we're gonna have to go the long way around Jeez, did you see me I think it did Wow, he is like extremely close. Go over there, man. Come on. Go, I say. What the hell, man? Move. Well, okay. I see you chose death. <laughs> so many zombies here. Although, I have to tell you that after seeing and facing a horde. Yeah, I, I kind of feel confident about everything else. Like, if you... No, no, no. Go over there. I mean, you faced a horde. You've seen everything. Oh, boy. And do I have stories to tell you about that, though? <laughs> All right, let's see. Blaze says, you're in for a ride. Five Nights at Freddy 4 is the scariest thing. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I was scared enough of the first game. Thank you very much. I don't think I need to go in iteration 4 <laughs> to be convinced. Oh, man. So anyway, oh, now we're zombie-free? Interesting. Okay, cool. 
Let's actually look for some resources as well. So I had a few interesting encounters with uh, with zombie hordes. One pretty unsuccessful one, I might add, and two very successful ones. Well, suffice to say, you guys know how I play usually these uh, these games. So the successful encounters with the horde, it was pretty much me being stealthy, finding the cheese, and taking the horde out one by one, if you can imagine that. Like, imagine taking a hundred zombies one by one. But I did it. Stealthy weapons and everything. Well, I did use that, dude. Did chuck a few grenades in. But in the end, it is kind of doable if you're patient enough. I had an, a pretty unsuccessful encounter as well, though. <laughs> Don't turn around, damn it. Don't look at me. Come on. Oh, wow. That was too close. Okay. You're going down, buddy. Oh, jeez. Well, okay, a few zombies we can handle. We're fine. Where's the other one? Just the one here. She knows. She sounds like she knows. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's two of them. Hold on. Can one of you go investigate that? They do not seem very inter... Oh, jeez. Well, I can still kill one of them. Oh no, I should have. I should have. Oh man, now I need to fix my weapon. See, it's not bad fighting them, but you have to fix your weapon. And if there's a lot of them, you... Well, pretty much you don't have time to do that. So, yeah, that's why you're toast. Oh, in any case. A mildly successful encounter. Now, how about the, uh, the story I was talking about? Hold on. Yeah, I was telling you about the time that I had an unsuccessful encounter. Like, there was this Nero station. I did that off screen, unfortunately, but... Ah, eh, you didn't miss too much. There was this Nero station that I wanted to infiltrate. And obviously, when you go to Nero stations, you kind of have to... Oh, let me mark these guys so I know where everybody is. You have to first get rid of some alarm systems. That's kind of the gameplay loop with Nero points. I need to take this guy out. He's looping way too much back and forth. Would you go over there, sir? Oh, what did I throw? Jesus. Oh, man. I hate it when that happens. Instead of throwing a rock, I threw another distraction. In yeah, any case, doesn't matter. So I was at this Nero station. I had to cut an alarm. And plot twist, every few minutes, every 60 seconds, I would say, rather, there was like one biker going back and forth. And he would rile up the entire horde. So I go about taking out the alarm stealthily. And I reach one alarm that is right underneath the zombie horde. Like, the zombie horde is on a train right above me. And the last alarm that I need to cut out is right below them. So I go there, and I can hear the biker coming, and I say, oh, shoot. <laughs> that is it. That's the moment that Shakim dies. I quickly disable the alarm. The zombies get all riled up because of that damn biker, of course. And luckily for me, there was like a dumpster very close by in the road. So I hide in the dumpster, and an entire zombie horde goes li like literally by me. <laughs> oh, I was so scared for my life right then. But Jesus. Ah, in any case, we made it. It was fine. It was a wild ride, though. <laughs> All right, let's see what you guys are talking about. The hordes are quite fun till one sneaks behind. Yep. Yep. I hate it. How does that even happen? I mean, it has happened to me while playing off screen. I was, like, casually, you know, going stealthily about my business, and suddenly there's a horde behind me? How does that even happen? I mean... You would guess you'd see them you'd see them from a mile away, right? So I don't know. <laughs> Maybe the game just spawns them behind you. Let's see. One of the best strategies to fight a zombie is run. Yes, <laughs> I agree. Running is always good. You haven't seen the sawmill yet. Now I've heard I've read about it. They say this is an, an unavoidable uh fight with the zombie horde. Hold on, where am I even going? I need to visit the grave. Where is the grave? Ah, it's up there. I missed it. So I'm not very 
much looking forward to that encounter with that uh, sawmill horde. Wait, you're gonna tell us the story where your wife called you insane? <laughs> yep, that was it. That was the that was the one actually, where uh, I was uh, where when the zombies started chasing me. That's what uh, was Blaze referring to. My wife came in at the exact second where the zombie horde kind of started chasing me, and I was screaming like a little girl. I kid you not. And she gives me that look like, "Are you insane? Who the heck am I married to?" <laughs> <laughs> and rightfully so, because I was, uh, yeah, I was pretty, it was pretty funny seeing me in that state. Oh, in any case, I kind of made it alive. I did die a few times later, but in this instance, I kind of made it alive. Hold on, why is this not activating? What is my objective? Maybe I have to kill everybody? Let's quickly see. Damn it. Hold on, I'm making you dizzy. I don't know what it is, but maybe I need to kill everybody. Hold on, let's clear out the area. Because that's the tombstone, that's what I need to do. Yeah, let's clear everybody out. I wonder, can I actually see this? Hold on, let's see the story real quick. Clear the abandoned... Oh yeah, clear the abandoned Nero refugee camp. So we have to clear, I guess, the zombies. That's what it means. Oh, she's next to an explosive barrel. That could be fun. Shall we have some fun? Please go next to the explosive barrel. Yes, yes. I'm gonna hit the barrel, actually. Interesting. And now, goodbye. <laughs> oh, man. Do you like your zombies extra crispy? That's what you're getting here. <laughs> All right, now. Hold on, that guy seems to be kind of upset that we killed his buddy. And he is coming. Come on. Yes, yes, go look for your buddy. Nice, and that should be the last of them. The last of us. As zombie games tend to say. Now let's see, Shaq and Wild. <laughs> oh my guys, you're making fun of me? Oh yes. Oh, you should have seen the look on her eyes, Blaze. That was the highlight for me. Like, what the heck? You know, one eyebrow raised. All right, oh, cutscene hey. time. Me again. Is he going to tell you something? Hey, it's okay, it's just my arm. You told me that we shouldn't come back, and I didn't listen to you. I mean, I knew that it was getting worse, but I... None of us knew it was going to be like this. fast. You don't understand. I don't know what I would do if I lost you. This is my fault. Hey. I didn't lose a name. I made a promise. Remember? Deacon, wait! Sarah, come on. There's a kid here. <laughs> hey. Hey, are you okay? Come on, we gotta find your parents, okay? Hey. Come on. Ah! Oh, me. That sucks. Damn kids. <laughs> uh, um, I don't know. I don't. I don't think it's that bad. Okay. Hold this here as long as you can. Can you run? I don't think so. I think I can walk. Okay, good enough. Almost there. <laughs> Two hours ago, this place was crawling with beds. Yeah, they must have evacuated. Yeah, 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 they must have bugged out. <laughs> yeah, they must have. Yeah, she's burning out. The uh, knife must have nicked her kidney or something. She's turning septic. Mm. How you doing, little sister? So stupid. It was this little, this little kid. This, this goddamn little kid. Big goddamn knife. Hey, help me. Mm. Oh, shit. Mm. You don't want to be able to come through. We gotta get to the roof. Flag down one of those choppers. All right. So this is actually the story we've already seen at the beginning of the game, but it is extended. Hey, mm. easy, easy. <sighs> hey, Paul. Welcome to the stream. You reminded me so much of my little sister, you know. Mm. 
used to play that hide and seek game all the time. And she would just, just hide her head in her coat just like that. I've been good my name, but nothing like that. She's burning up. Jesus. We gotta move. We ain't going that way. Ah, okay. uh, come on. All right. Hey, sweetheart, can you move? Okay. Who's her? Yeah, I got her. Go find this way out. Listen to me, listen to me. My girl's out there, she's been stabbed. We're just trying to get to the roof. Get out there's a helicopter. You killed her. So listen. You killed just... my wife! Oh, no, no, no. Look, I, I didn't know anything about no. your wife being killed. I'm sorry, sir. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Well, we saw that coming a mile away, I guess. First blood, I guess. Wait, we need help. She's been wounded. What's wrong with her? Well, she's not. Whatever the hell's going on out there, she's been stabbed. I can't take anymore. Oh, okay. Listen, O'Brien. If we don't get her to a hospital, she's going to die. There are no more hospitals. Oh, come on. No more hospitals. You got uh, doctors, you got triage, you got a mass unit. Oh, look, I'm just a grad student, okay? I, I got volunteers for this. I'm not even supposed to be out here, okay? Brian. Uh, I've only got room for two of you, okay? Two. You got room for two of you? We're overweight, okay? I can only take two of you, two. <laughs> come on, help me, come on. All right, sweetheart. It's okay. You're gonna be all right. I got her. Okay, Boozer, let's go. We gotta get on that. We gotta get on that. I heard what he said. There's only room for two on that chopper. Go. Go with her. I'll be okay. Look, I've been to worse shit than this before. You know? Here we go. Where are you going? What? Where? Where? Refugee camp, west of Three Finger Jack. No. Boozer is never going to make it without me. Fade to black. And I guess now we resume. Let's see. You, uh, you rest easy, okay? I'll, uh, I'll be back to check on you. And uh, I know, yeah, you would want me to, but I guess Boozer's right. I can't, I can't help myself. It's, uh, it's like I said, I'll be back. 
And so ends the mission. What did you do? We gain some trust, some experience points, and we move on.